When Tony Cozier talks, don't argue. Here we are, the Deadpool Radio Show, DRS. Welcome. This is our first attempt at doing this. And uh, what if it's successful, what I might do is I'm going to do it monthly during the cricket season, which um, starts in April in the UK, I guess, for my international viewer. The um, intention is to do it monthly, as I said, and then maybe uh, what I might be successful is I might seek to exploit my brand a bit, maybe do it twice weekly, then weekly, then daily, then hourly, then minute by minute by minute by minute by minute until eventually I get washed up. And I'm forced to go and broadcast in the Indian Premier League of broadcasting merely to recover for a huge incentives. I did read somewhere that, actually I heard it on TMS broadcast, Dave Richardson was saying that when Indigo on tour, say to New Zealand, they can sell the TV rights to something like $50 million. So obviously with, with principles in mind, I don't want to particularly think that I'm gonna make money out of this broadcast, but India, 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 obviously. And the IPL, of course, is in full swing as you would be on this, on this TV, I would be showing this if I was doing this at, at the right time, but at the moment there's a dodgy insurance uh, advert on ITV4, as there usually is. That and an episode of Frasier, or is that Channel 4? Who knows? What's been happening then since last county championship season? Well, there was the death of Tony Gregg, um, sadly passed, and of course a huge star in India on that tour. I remember when they won 3-1, 76, I believe. He was out there and uh, very popular with, with the crowd, as, as I guess you would be. And um, I've got a lot of time for Tony Gregg. Obviously, the grovel business caused me a few problems, but I did imagine what it would be like if he was commentating on his own funeral. Well, oh, cremation. Cremation, that'd be better. You know, his own cremation. Okay, and here we are. We come up now to the uh, to the final bit where the body is committed to... Oh, yeah, my, yeah, my! And then, of course, there's uh, Jesse R, Jesse Ryder, the New Zealand player who was beaten outside of the bar and ended up in a coma, probably watching Nick Compton bat something. Who knows? So, I just think, what would the CCTV footage of that event be like when it's played in court? And here is a uh, Jesse Ryder coming out of the bar, and having a few drinks, he's staggering a bit, and here's a punch, there's another one, there's another one. Oh my god, he's going down, he's going down to somebody else, he's going down, he's going down, he's falling back, now he's going down, he's going down. Is he out? No, 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 no. He's looking for the review. Let's see what this says. Now, does the punch go in? It's him. He's out. In about five years. He's lucky. Of course, if that had happened in India, he wouldn't have been able to ask the DRS, would he? Which I find extraordinary that we have this one test playing country that's allowed to dominate the rules to others. It must be about the money. Back to Jesse J, Jesse R. There you go, India, India, India. Obviously, as the the uh, series goes on, I'll get better at doing the commentators' voices. Wait, you hear my Michael holding. Um, so I thought by reviewing the count, what I'd do is I'd, I'd look at the ticket prices. Because obviously, one of the reasons why foot, cricket is better than football, football's not better than cricket in that sense, is the, is the you can go to games at relatively low cost. Obviously, um, I could try, for instance, the international game's a bit different. Let's try Ashes tickets. Don't know what you think these would these might cost uh, for the Oval. Of course, you've got to get them in the first place. Uh, they're all guaranteed, guaranteed, loads of seat wave. Um, all this kind of stuff, the KI Oval, sorry, versus England Ashes tickets, the Oval has sold out all five days of the final um, Investec Ashes test match versus Australia. But you can get some tickets through debentures, hospitality packages, etc., etc., etc. So, hold on. Let's, let's look at the Surrey membership then for the county thing. Surrey, of course, have gone down the road of um, Graham Smith joining them as captain, Ricky Ponting. Um, that's two test captains. Kevin Peterson, 
Three test captains, albeit a bit quick. MS Dhoni could join, perhaps. Uh, notice the Indian reference on that particular one. Right, where are we? Buy memberships. Let's have a look here. Click here to buy memberships. County memberships. Surrey County Cricket Club. You can do Surrey and England if you want. So how much is this one? Let's do this live. Okay, uh, the county adult is £182. The ticket for... Um, uh, 17, 21 year olds is £62. And the membership for that you can get to all the camp championship games, the Friends Life T20, the Clydesdale Bank 40. I didn't even know that's still going. Discount on drinks in the member's pavilion, a discount in the oval shops, and a complimentary yearbook. Now, is there anything about you might want to take your um, your junior? No, there's no juniors. 182, that is. I might look at that one for the Oh, here it is. Memberships. Junior Hollyoak Club. So you can do a kid's one. So if I want to take my children. Um, that would cost me £20. Now that, I think, is fantastic. Okay, for, for under 16. Now that, that's, that's a, a wise move. Let's look at Sussex. Which I've got to say is, is actually my favourite ground. In, in contrast, Sussex County Cricket Club. Uh, 182 then. Sussex versus Australia. That might be interesting. That's in July. You can buy those online. Um, tickets, tickets, membership. Here it is, membership. Membership. Buy 2013 membership. 2013 membership of that. Premier membership. Well, it's all different ones. Premier membership. Let's go for standard membership. For standard, it's 190 quid. For that, you get three into the Australia game. Three into the Yorkshire Bank. 40 group matches. Is it a different bank? Clydesdale, Yorkshire. Maybe they're all, maybe they're all, all the banks are joining together, and Friends Life T Twenty, reduced admission only, and standard partner membership is twenty pounds off. Okay, so that's standard membership. Um, junior membership again is twenty quid. So pretty good going now. Kent, I know some. Um, People I send this to are, are big on. Kent for membership is uh, home. So straight away I'd say the uh, website's not as immediately good. There's tickets. Hang on, there's tickets. There's tickets, tickets, tickets. Here we go. Tickets and ticket prices. There's the ground. 20 quid to get in for these different festivals. Free for some. Now, where's the community ticketing and shop home ticketing and shop membership and packages? Here we go, membership and packages. 2013. So there's a there's all different. Oh, another again, there's different grades of membership. You have to download the brochure. I don't know if you got down the brochure, and it's uh, together we are Kent. Support your team. Spitfire membership, 140 quid. What is Spitfire membership? Spitfire is, um, oh, there we are, early bird, all rounder, everything. One day cricket, oh, just one day for, for that. So six pack, 95. Sussex, Hampshire, I wonder. So, um, yeah. so maybe. <clears throat> This year, although Hampshire actually can't get to, can you with the Rose Bowls, middle of nowhere? Well, right. So, there you have it. That's my my uh, guide to the prices, which, are, let's face it, is probably more interesting than what's happening on the pitch at the moment as no one's playing. If you want to email, get in touch, let me know anything you want particularly to raise so the county championship coming up what can we do to improve that here's my one 2020 needs to be cut radically back and broadcast only on terrestrial TV the IPL gets a huge following because of its ITV and YouTube access ITV4 and YouTube Indian Premier League if you're interested. Whereas 2020, or T20 as we give it its proper name over here, is on Sky, which to me seems 
daft and limiting the audience. It's a very attractive form of cricket for attracting new potential spectators. I won't use the word attractive quite so much the next time I talk about this kind of thing. Two divisions seem to be working. The money from test matches obviously does filter back to the counties. So the championship, provided we don't have a one month break in the middle, to me seems a very positive thing. I shall be at Horsham, Guildford, Arundel hopefully, and maybe I'll see you there. When Tony Cozier talks, don't argue.